Hello, everybody. It's Sherry. It's Sherry. Hi. How are you? I'm back in the craft camper. It is Thursday, April 18th. I'm a crank knitter. This is my crank knitting crew. Hello, everybody. I'm in a mood, guys. Are you ready for this? It is coffee and chat day, and I'm so excited. I've been working nonstop, non-stinking stop today. Okay, let's see who we got. As you're hopping in, please say hello to all of us and tell me where you're watching from. Even if you've told me a million times, I don't even care. And the light is like in my eyes. How can I do this? How can I do this? It's not working for me today, guys. It's either shining on my forehead or shining on the lenses. You pick. Because <laughs> they're both large. Okay. All right. Sandy. Oh, hello, my friend. I hope you were doing okay. I CC'd you on the email. I don't know if you saw that. Um, but yes. Thank you for being Sandy. I'm glad you're here. All right. We have Kim. Good morning, Kim. And we have we have that Kim. Kim. And then we have this Kim in Poughkeepsie. Hello, Kim. How are you? Hello, hello, hello. Kim, 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 Kim. Today it's Kim Day. It is Kim Day. Ooh, dealing with a lot of chest pain. Kim, what? That's not good. That's not good. Not good, my dear. Let me get, I'm going to get crisscross applesauce. I would call it what we used to call it when I was a kid, but that's not nice anymore. So I won't say that. Okay. Um, let me see if I can do this. <laughs> my 50 year old hips. Kim, please take care of yourself. I'm worried about you now. Claire Noble, how are you? Yay! Claire got in on the network. I saw you. I saw you pop in. I'm getting all the notifications for all of my helpery friends. Thank you. Um, it's so good. I'll add some stuff in there later. Oh, yay! I'm excited. Thank you, Claire. Thank you. Thank you. If you see anything at all, you know, please reach out because I I've already gotten a few notes and things. So don't you know? Just express whatever you see, whatever doesn't seem right, whatever you think we need, whatever. Nikita, how are you? Nitsy is Nikita. Mm -mm. Okay, I gotta sip some more coffee, guys. I have not had much coffee, believe it or not. Yes, yes, we all need to think about Kim. Kim, please take care of yourself. Please, please, please. Wendy Castle, hello. I saw a little notification from you too. You got in there as well. Guys, the new network will be coming soon. The new community. Just wanted to, oh, let's see, who is this? Is it, is it JB's Crochet? Just wanted to introduce myself. I actually changed my channel name. My name is Amber. Hello, Amber. Thank you for being here. JB's Crochet. I got to check out JB's Crochet. I wish I could like do the little follow-y follow, but since I'm on the stream yard, I can't. But you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do old-fashioned. JB's. I think that's how you say it. I'm not sure. JB's. Because I like me some new follow crochet friends. I need, I can't talk. You guys are going to think I've been like drinking some sauce, but I have not. I do have some exciting news that is not my own, but I'm super excited to share. So you got to stay tuned. We're doing a giveaway and um, I, I'm not going to do memberships today. Today We'll do that next Thursday. Um, but yeah, I got lots of goodies, some more goodies. And I got one really exciting thing. I don't know if she's on here, but Miss Molly has done something. I'm just going to call her Miss Molly. I don't know if she wants me to do that or not, even though she's married. But we're going to call her Miss Molly because I like the way that sounds. So she's officially now Miss Molly. She has sent me some things. And I'm going to give one of them away to a lucky person today. Because it's fun. Because I feel like Oprah, like, you know, to give stuff away. I have to tell you, back in the day, I used to, like, I despised businesses that did giveaways for whatever xyz like share tag do the things and tell your grandma and all your aunts and uncles about me and then i'll put your name in for a drawing that stuff drove me bat boop crazy when i was trying to run my retail business because i thought you know what i want people to just come because they want to come but this is different because i don't tell you to go do anything i mean i'd love it if you like do all the things but if you don't who cares i you know whatever it's all good it's just fun to give shit away. So I'm excited that you all have given me, or some of you have given me stuff. I don't know if Naira's in here. I was trying to get a hold of her today. I need to get a hold of her. Um, I've got one of her lovely scrunchies that is beautiful that will be in the package. I have to tell you, I um, 
I worked out this morning. I've been doing it like a couple of days a week. I do some, some, I should call it grandma hit. That's what it should be. <laughs> Cause if there would be like a record, like something like recording me, you all would laugh your butts off. Cause it's hilarious. But cause I do it in our tiny bedroom and there's not a lot of room. There's just enough room to put my like yoga mat down. And I try to do this workout and it's like seven minute, like full body. It's hilarious guys, but I'm so sore. I've been, I've been every other day. Well, not every other day, like three days a week, the last few weeks. And I'm still sore. It's not getting better. I I don't know. Anyways, why did I, why did I bring that up? I don't know why I brought that up when I was talking about Nairo. Oh, <laughs> because I pulled my hair back to keep it out of my face. And I have the little tiny scrunchies that she makes. And it's like the only thing that will hold my hair. And I just love them. They're lovely. And so her scrunchies are awesome. That's what I was going to, that's where it was leading. My brain went down the trail and that's where it ended. Okay. Mm. Um, get, oh, Cranker's block. Is that what you're saying? I thought you were going to say Cranker's back. Cause I have Cranker's shoulder, Cranker's elbow, Cranker's back right now. Cause I've been, I don't know that you guys can see it. Let me show you guys. Cranker's block though. Absolutely. Wendy. <laughs> Like where you're not sure what to do next. Hold on. I got to show this. I got all my tails though. Here's, here's some. And wait, hold on. Hold on. There's more. I got to show it off because I'm so proud of myself. And then there's some. I've just been in all the, what was in my lap just fell on the floor. So that's all. I still have some more panels to go, believe it or not. This is that mandala ombre. Um. Okay, now I got to pick these up. Oh, Sherry. Holy cow. Okay, I don't want to, like, wheel over them. All right. That's what I get for showing off. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, that's for the Knit the Bridge that I think, why did I sign up for that? Because I thought that would be fun. I don't know. But you know what I'm learning? Because I'm going to, I wasn't going to do the, what's it called? The braided join. Cause I've not done that yet. Mm -hmm. I haven't, I'm going to do that on there. So cranker's block. Yes. Wendy, I get it. Like you get uninspired. I think that's what you're asking. I think that's what BLCK is. Um, and yeah, it's, it's, um, Oh, thank you. You can get this like on there on the thing, right. Going across there. If you want it, it's very, it's my favorite sweatshirt, by the way, guys, even though it's getting warmer today, it's cold. Believe it or not, it's a little chilly so I can wear it and I'm comfortable. Okay. JB's crochet says you're absolute nut job. Why are you on here? No, I'm kidding. Shouldn't say that. Um, I need ideas to make stuff on my Addy King. I don't have a smaller one to make amigurumi things. Um, you, if you want to try a stuffed animal, you could do, oh, did you guys see this? Miss Molly made it for me. Isn't that cute? Um, you could do, you could do one of these guys. It's the Savlabot. I have the um, the numbers. Actually, I just posted it in our new group as I was testing out. The little Yoda baby. You could do that on the Addy King. Um, this I did on, I did one on the Addy. This one was on the 48. So it'd be a little bit smaller, but it'd be a little bit better probably. Um, I have the numbers, the, my modifications and what I did. If you look in the community tab on YouTube, JBs, um, and scroll all the way down, you'll see like this little dude. You can make that. That would be fun. Um, but yeah, do that. Do, I don't know. You could chest out panels, maybe make a sweater. I don't know. I don't know. Fun. Oh, the other thing. Oh, Aaron makes, you could do those. You could do, you could do flowers. You could do this. This is very fun. It's very, very fun. Actually in this, there is no, and her son, Aaron makes designs on Etsy and her sunflower pattern. Um, this one doesn't have any waste yarn. So this one's like, way easier. Or was it the little one? No, it's this one. I think, I think I can't remember. I don't think it did. I don't think it had a waist yarn, just a little sewing. It was a lot of fun. A lot of cranking though. A lot of cranking. She has a bigger one too. Like a huge one back there. Can you see that? You could do that one too. Um, this one was on the 22. So yeah. So no, not that 22 and yeah, 22. 22 and 40. Yes. Yeah, so you'd need that one. But, um, yeah. So I don't know. There's, um, lots of fun stuff to make. I don't know what you want to do. Cause right now it's tough. Like with hats, if you don't want to do hats, try, try a sweater, knock out a sweater, knock out, um, like some amigurumi, uh, you could do, 
Let's see what else is good. Anybody got like a bag? You can maybe make a bag. I don't know. I don't know. That's a good question. We should just have patterns for the bigger machines because some people don't have the smaller machines. So that's a good, 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 good. Yes, I can't talk. <laughs> Megan, how are you? How are you? Wendy's in Southwest Arkansas. I need to remember that. I always want to put you someplace else. Like I think Missouri for whatever reason. I don't know why I think Missouri. How are you doing, Megan? Are you back home yet? Or are you still with your dad? I hope you're okay. Uh, let's see. We have Angelina from Belgium. Isn't that cool, Sandy? Isn't it cute? She made that. Isn't that the cutest thing? I need to hold it up whenever I say stay cr cranky, huh? I think it's so cute. And look at the machine. Look at how good that is. I have like fuzz on it, but yeah, I have things to share about Miss Molly here in just a moment. So we'll do that. Yes, I got it, but I went to junk. Uh, see, <sighs> silly, silly junk. You guys all have to, if I send you email, sometimes it goes to spam. It thinks I'm a spammer. So if I say I'm going to send you an email or if you know an email's coming and for any of you who had interest in helping get the community going, I did, there were like six, seven, eight of you. I don't know. Um, I sent an email out this morning, so it may be in your spam. Mm. Shauna Morgan. Hey everybody. I have to say I was going to show it, but then I got my computer messed up. Hold on. I gotta give me, give me a minute. I gotta blow my nose. Give me a minute, Shauna. Just hold on a minute. I'm not actually blowing. I'm just wiping. Okay. So Shauna, Shauna from South Paul Fiber Arts like that. Okay, guys, these are back in stock. So you need to go buy one. And this is like the most incredible thing ever. Just so you know, it's the ultimate tension guide. Southpaw Fiber Arts, if you were wondering, I've had so many questions. Hopefully you're selling lots of them, Shauna, because I've had a lot of people. I Again, I know I carried on about this before. I will continue to carry on. She is not paying me. She is not. Um, it is lovely, guys. It's lovely because I'm using it to do all of my all of my things. I will tell you, though. Shauna, this is one thing. This is the only downfall is you have to pay attention. <laughs> Because I got so used to not having to hang on to that yarn that, um, like I did about, like, these tubes are 220, 220 rows is what I'm doing to get the size that I need. Twice I've done this. I'm more than halfway through the stinking tube. And I run out of yarn because I'm having to put, like, two skeins or cakes together. And I'm not paying attention. I'm, I'm watching. I got my earbuds in. I'm watching some Netflix. I'm cranking away with my little tension guide, having a good time. And then I'm like, oh, shit. My thing just fell on the ground because I cranked it right off the machine. I've done it twice now. So that's the only downside is you have to pay attention. So, yeah, but it's lovely, you guys. So go get yourself one if you have an Addy. So uh, who is it? JB's Crochet. You have an Addy. Isn't that what you said you had? An Addy. You need one of those tension guides. I'm telling you, it's a live changer for the, for the Addy. It is, it is fabulous, 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 fabulous. It is. And how are you? I don't know why I yelled at you, Anne Green. Now, who? I don't know. And I don't know who this is, but is it like, you're like, hi. And then it has the, how are you? I'm glad you're here. Karen. Yay. I saw. Yay. I'm so excited. I'm so excited that you guys are getting in there. I, you know, I still have some stuff I want to do. It may not be exactly what I want, but we'll, we'll grow it. We'll make it good. And what I'm talking about is Crank Net Network. Pretty soon that will be up and going and I will notify all of you who want to be in there with us too. So yeah. Okay. Elise Harris. Hey, hey, how are you? Tina Fletcher. How are you? And we have Norelli um australia 2 a.m friday morning how was your thursday we should say how was yesterday for you which is today for us which is very confusing for my brain but i'm glad you're here i am so glad that you're here thank you for hanging out again you were here on monday that's you're so awesome and then we have stacy in the in, in i was gonna say in the fort but she's not she's in indy she's in indianapolis which is a beautiful city if you guys I know everybody thinks of Indiana as like boring. Indianapolis, it's hopping. It's 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 an awesome. It's an awesome city, really. Fort Wayne's not too bad either. I think they have a shirt that says it's not that bad for for Fort Wayne. No joke. Where I grew up, which for marketing for a city, probably not the smartest move. I don't think, but whatever. Hey, it's all good. 
Molly's here. Yay. Okay. 12.03. Molly's here. I am behind. Since Molly's here, Miss Molly, Miss Molly, I want to talk about what Miss Molly sent me. Now, um, I have, I have several of these, but I'm going to wait and we're going to do like a big giveaway next Thursday. I hope that's okay, Molly. Um, these beautiful little packages. And I'm going to show you what is in my beautiful little package, but you guys are going to be so excited. And actually I want to call these the right, the correct name. So I'm going to get on her new website. You guys, this is so exciting. Hold on. It is golden arm creations. And I should, I might be able to put it in here. I don't know if Sandy can like type golden arm creations. Molly might be able to do that. I don't know. Let me hop in here. She has, oh, they're called starter sets. They're called starter sets. Starter sets. This, that's what this is in this beautiful little package. Oh, she called it the H and H starter set. Oh, Molly, I love you. So hoop and home starter sets. Okay. Let me show you. There's one that's like a sewn set and one that is, um, with a, um, Chicago screw or one of the screws, but let me show you what Molly sent me. And this is what she has on her website is up now. I hope, I hope, um, that it's okay that I'm announcing this. Her business name is Golden Arm Creations. Molly is the one that I've been talking about for, a, for, I won't say a long time, but for a little while, she's been working to get it all set up. You guys, okay, look at this box first off. You know what I say about, you know, we got Shauna with Southpaw Fiber Arts in her, in her craft boxes. Look at this. Okay, guys, look at that. Look at how freaking cute that is. You get a tag and you get a palm and you get one of the screws if that's the one you choose. So there's two different starter starter kits and you can customize them. So no more do you have to order a bazillion tags because she also just sells the tags too. Um, but guys, like this right here, this little custom, customy custom, you guys see this? It says, the little palm button says, grandma made this for me. Is that not the most stinking adorable thing? And then the heart little um, rivet or whatever, the Chicago screw. So, um, like set one's $3.50 plus shipping. And don't be like all up in the business about the shipping because that is freaking cheap for a custom. It's cheap, guys. And then set two is $3. So, if you want the sewn one. So, I'm going to give away, and I haven't opened these. So, I don't know exactly like what's in here. I'm assuming she probably has handmade with love, I would assume, but I don't know that. It's a surprise. Um, but whoever wins today is going to get one of these starter sets. So, this is so cool, guys. I'm just so excited for her and her husband and here is her golden arm creations is the name of her company and again she's not paying me mm -mm. no but she's given me stuff to give to you which is exciting and she gave me this and she gave me this that's better than money it is for sure look at that so anyways you guys have to check her site out um and she also the other thing that's really and this doesn't have anything to do with um cranking but her, I think it's her husband. I think it's her husband, Molly. I might be speaking out of like, but he has these keepsake boxes that are so beautiful. So check those out too. But um, they have the tags and the supplies. So they have the faux leather um, tags and you can customize them. And they have the round Chicago screws. They have the heart ones that I adore. They have the little wooden palm buttons. And then they have the H&H the &H starter set one and two. So check those out. Check her website out. Again, it's goldenarmcreations.com. Yeah, very, very awesome. And I'm excited for one of you guys to win it. And I I kind of know what I'm going to do with this, but I'll have to share it with you when I when I make it up. So um, I'm excited. I'm so excited. Yeah. Molly, you're awesome. You guys are rock stars because, yeah, you're just like amazing, amazing balls. There. Woohoo. There it is. Okay. Thank you, Sandy. You're awesome. All right. Um, but yeah, that's exciting. They, you know, she's been working on it and then she was waiting for me to get the, the, um, you know, get stuff set up for the group. I don't know if Molly, if you got the email either, cause I included you and Shauna in that and in on that, uh, in on that. So yes, I'm so excited. Mm. Wendy, that is me story of my life. I, and I have them. I, oh, I can't show you, but in my little book, I have them all written all over the place. No worries. It's all right. I can help you out if you get like locked out too. Carrie May, how are you in San Diego? How are you doing, Carrie May? Um, 
let's see. Megan says I have a head cold. Oh, that's what I'm dealing with while I'm still in Utah. Oh, that's awful. That's, you know, this time of year getting sick is not fun. It's just not fun. Not fun. Thank you. Thank you, Sandy, for subscribing to JB's Crochet. I've already checked JB's Crochet out. Uh, oh, good. I'm saying it right. Okay. It was, oh, okay. You were handmade yarns, crafts with the, okay. Yarns. Cause I always want to say yarns and crafts. I said it wrong all the time. I like JB's. It like flows off the tongue. Amber. If Amber is your first name, I think it's Amber. Oh yeah. We got to talking about homeschool. Okay. I do. I like JB's. I like it. I like it. I might be, I don't know if I'm following you. I, I probably am not, but I'll make sure I do. All right. All right. All right. Oh, she might be working now. Yeah. I kind of figured that too. I sent her a discord message. Um, let's see. Yarn in my nose. I keep sneezing. Nikita, I have, I've been having lots of problems. I will tell you, um, Shauna, I kind of conversed with her husband. I still haven't bought a, a 3d printer for my son. Cause it's so expensive. We haven't bit the bullet yet. But, um, speaking of fuzz up your nose, my, one of my kids, my older kids is like, well, if you get one of those, doesn't it like put plastics into the air? And I said, Haley, I said, I'm in a little confined space with acrylic yarn, like all the time. And it is it all over in the air. And we're breathing that in. Oh, did somebody, did somebody join the membership? Michelle D. Oh, thank you for joining. It just popped up. Thank you so much for joining the Crank Knit crew on YouTube. I appreciate you. But anyways, I think about that guys. Do we you know, is there a thing called like knitter lung? Because <laughs> we probably with all the acrylic yarn, you know, we're breathing that stuff in. I'm sure it doesn't help us. I'm sure it doesn't. Does somebody from Kazakhstan, I can't say your name because I would never say it right, but that is so cool. And you know what? The tulip is my favorite flower. And I think, what did I, what are the, the ones that are like trumpety calla lilies? Is that what those are? The trumpety shaped ones too? I like those as well. I saw some of those in Meyer the other day. They were beautiful. Um, Kim says, been missing all. Glad to be here. We'll be listening while driving to the fort. Awesome. Just be safe. Just be safe. I'll try not to get you into any trouble. It's Bill and Joyce Arrington. How are you doing? Lady Bridgerton. <laughs> You're my Bridgerton. Oh, J is for my two boys named start with J and my daughter's name starts with B. Oh, I love that. I love the bees, spring and flowers. I love it. C, 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 J, B, C. I love that. I like the way it sounds too. It just flows. It's yeah. Good choice. Good choice. Love it. Love it. Love it. Yep. Love it. Love it. Love it. Uh, I want to start. Can't decide. Oh, Karen. Yeah. Not block, but yes. That, well, the list. See, I get like project paralysis guys. I do. Like I have so many things I want to do. And are you guys guilty of the scrolling through, I scroll through Pinterest and I look at crochet and knitted items and I'm like, I might be able to turn that into something on the knitting machine. I have a whole folder. It's not public. It should be. So you guys can get the same ideas as me, but um, where I go through and I try to save things that I think, you know, they inspire me, but then I have this huge inspiration list of things. Cause I'll tell you guys Sunday, I did my, I recorded my, I usually record my um, will it cranks on Wednesday? And I don't know, do I, should I keep doing the will it cranks? I, I mean, I get views, but not a, not a ton, but I think for me, I'm do I'm checking out the yarn anyways. It's yarn that I want to figure out if I can use it or not. Um, so I don't know, let me know if they're helpful, if I should continue taking the time to do those. But, um, but anyways, I try to yarn and I don't want to tell you, cause I want you to watch the video and it's lovely. Like for spring, summer, you guys, you'll have to watch. Cause I made, um, I made a little I keep burping. Oh my goodness. Um, I made a little hat for Astrid, my granddaughter. And so I used the 40 pin, but then I went ahead and used the 48. Oh, it's, oh guys, it's lovely. It's lovely, lovely. So you'll have to check it out. So then in turn, Karen, what ends up happening is then I have all these ideas with this yarn that I want to do. Like I, hands down, I want to make a sweater. I want to make a sweater, but I want to make a black sweater guys. Like make the blocks. But then I'm like, that's a lot of waste yarn. That's a lot of work. Sherry, what are you thinking? But I would love that. Like a double layer. I don't want to do tubes. I want to do the blocks. Like the one, if y'all have seen the kind of crazy crocheted sweat, sweater that my daughter made me, I want to do one similar to that, but do it with this type of yarn that you'll see on Sunday. And um, yeah, so I want to do that and all the other things. Cause I got to get my, 
my this tutorial done. Boop, you know, my this, because this needs to happen. This needs to happen. Because the tutorials are honestly, they're the ones that kind of long form video, um, if you're a content creator, is like where you need to be. And I'm a short, short form video kind of like that's where a lot of my following has come from. But the long form video is like if I want to keep making content and keep getting paid for it, that's the stuff I need to be doing. And I'm not sitting down to do it. And I need to make sure that I do that. So you all need to keep me accountable. And can you see all the stuff flying around? Nikita, I got the plastics all in the air. We have Roseanne. How are you? We have Margo. Good afternoon. I'm so glad the rain has stopped here in Michigan. You know what? It started sprinkling here again. The sun's trying to shine. I will tell you, Margo, we had, I don't, you guys can't see it. I don't think you can see it. But back behind the house over there, there was a big tree. And luckily it fell the other night when we had, we had just horrible winds, like 60 mile an hour winds. And, um, it's, yeah, it's, you can't see it, but it's a large tree that's down and it just came real close to the house. A little scary, a little scary, scary, but it's not on our property. It's on the neighbors behind us. So they have to clean it up. So we don't have to, which is nice. Mm. I'll tell you, I got spoiled the other day though, when it was 70 and sunshine and I'm just like, oh. but I know it's coming. I know we'll get more of it. I just got to be patient. Tina says when I was at work yesterday in the charity shop, we had a ball of Mandala yarn come. Oh, isn't it? Mandala is nice. It's nice yarn. Oh, I want to talk. I have a list of things. Okay. So I talked about Molly's tags. That was one. Shauna's tension guy. I had that on there. Um, the new, the new community coming soon. I'm hoping guys, I hope to be fully launched by next week at this time so that you guys can all get on there. And, um, I'm, I'm excited. I know that it seems a little like redundant would be the word because we have the community on Facebook. There are so many communities on Facebook and, um, and yeah, it's again, I'll tell you, I went in there yesterday and I know probably Nikita nor CND probably have this problem, but I own, there were a few people that needed to be added to the community. I can't, I can't, it's, I just have a white screen. Like it doesn't, it's such a pain in the ass for me to use it. Uh, half the time, like I, I have problems with the back end of it. Not so much the feed or whatever. I won't, I won't. I, ha I, I know that I will keep it up, like keep that community because we have so much content in there and I don't want us all to lose that if you want to go search for inspiration, but I'm going to try to get most of you over to the circle platform if you're in the Cranknet community eventually, because I think it'll be better for all of us, um, but we'll see. Plus for the moderators, they'll be like, I don't want to moderate two communities, but we'll see. We'll, we'll figure it out. The other thing I want to talk about is... Um, I, I want to talk about yarn, but before I talk about that is I want to mention Sunday at three o'clock Eastern standard time is our zoom. Um, so if you want to attend that, I did send out an email yesterday, but I'll continue to send out emails for those that sign up. You have to go to, um, hoop and home forward slash zoom group, which Sandy just put at the bottom. You'll see it scrolling along there and put your email in. And then I will send you out an email with the links, but we're doing one on Sunday at three o'clock. That's three Eastern standard time. And then we'll do another one the 24th. It's a Wednesday at 7.30. So the next Wednesday at 7.30. 7.30 to 9. We usually do about an hour and a half. And it's just a fun time to hang out and kind of chit chat and all the things and get to know each other a little better and just, just chill and, you know, be friends and have a fun time. So hopefully you can make it. Um, if you can't, you know, whenever you can get there, it would be great. You know, if you get to Wednesday night or if you come to Sunday or eventually, you know, whatever. I'd love to have you though. You're, you're very much invited. Mm. Hello, Jennifer Busby and Donnie Dill. Yeah, the stay cranky sign. Isn't it the sweetest thing ever? You know what? I am probably way behind. Am I way behind? Oh, it's doing the thing again. It's like putting them all into a that's really weird. Let me let me see if I can see what happens. Um, Donnie Dill, yes. Um, I'm starting a, a, a group on the circle platform. So there's an app and it's web-based. Um, and it's just I think it'll be a little bit easier for us all to communicate. It has a really nice, robust profile. So like if you um, have a website, if you want to, you know, share like all of your machines that you have, if you want to be friends with somebody close to you, you, it's like really, really nice that way. And then we'll have this resource section that I'm trying to set up and, and we can put all the videos that everybody likes or things that you want to see in there. And then, um, um, like all the things that are helpful. Like I was watching Kuala Nitsa Next last night and I was watching her braided join. 
that kind of stuff where it's a re where you can go find it. You can go search on YouTube, but it'd be nice to have it all in one place. And then at the top, there'll be links on the, on your, um, on your app. You have to like do like a little down arrow and then there's links. But in those links, I'm going to have some Google uh, docs where we can all like alter them each other. Like I'm going to give access to everybody, but things like what yarn works on the central 48, what, you know, like those kinds of things, like maybe, um, maybe we'll have a Facebook group list too, like for other Facebook groups, if you guys want to get into them and share your stuff, that kind of thing. So it'll be a little bit more user-friendly, at least I think so. So we'll see how it goes. Okay. Let's see. Yeah. This is all like bunched together. Uh, um, uh, uh is it Amandeep? I love your work. Thank you for that. And I see all daisies, lilies, tulips, sunflowers underneath it, but then it's really weird. It's like squished together. Uh, Pam, Tyler, how are you? Thank you for the kind words. I appreciate you. Um, yeah, I love the Willet Crank too, Cheryl. It's very sweet. It's so, um, yeah. Will it, oh, you love the Willet Crank, not the, not the Stay Cranky. That's cute too. You do like it. Okay, good. Yeah. If you guys like it, definitely do the Willet Crank. Okay, good, good, good. If you guys find them helpful, I'll keep doing them. Cause for me, it's, it's okay. Good, 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 good. Okay. I'll keep doing them. Good, good, good. Uh, uh, yeah, that would be, oh, that would be good. We could do alerting sessions. Yeah. And see in the, in the community, we have some limits on the amount of people that can be in there, but we have like some abilities to do lives right within it. So it'd be fun to like do some kinds of things like that, where we like do some share, like learn, learning different things, sharing skills. We can get, um, you know, Rachel can do a demo on her pom-poms. Did you guys see the pom-poms, the, the pom-pom videos that Rachel did? If you didn't, you need to check it out. It's in the Cranknet community. Cheryl Randall, please keep doing the, okay, I will. You guys are awesome. Thank you for sharing that because I, sometimes I don't know how, like, if it's helpful. You know what I mean? Please make notes on yarn to buy in the machines. I'm trying to get ready for market this fall. Awesome. Okay. Now let me talk about, since we're talking about yarn, now I did, I did this, this was one of the Willet Cranks guys. And we did, like I talked about doing liners and this is the uh, Feels Like Bliss from Lion Brand. And oh my gosh, guys, it, it, it's amazing. It's amazing. Okay. So I was in Joann's, my local Joann's in Muskegon. I think it's actually Norton Shores in Michigan last night buying some yarn. Yes, I know. Yes, I know. I had, yeah. Okay. Anyways. Um, so I was checking out the yarn and they had the Lion Brand feels like butter, feels like butter is what it's called. And on the shelf, and I posted it on the shelf and you could feel it. And I didn't check the, the lots because I'm sure they were different, but it was like old stock, new stock. That's what it looked like. And the old stock was, it wasn't as soft as this, but it was close. It was really close. It's a different kind of yarn than what, <clears throat> let me grab. I thought I had some tails here of this still that I didn't get rid of. It, this, this yarn <clears throat> is different, but it had, it's almost like a chain yarn, kind of like this, the feels like butter. Um, but it, but it's a little bit more, what do I want to say? Fleecy kind of a little more fleecy, not as like poofy like this one. So right away when I felt the soft one, I'm like, Oh, this, if this would work in the machine, it would be a great liner as well. Right. But, but then I felt like there were two different, same color, and completely two different yarns. And I don't, I'm not knocking Lion Brand. And I know that this happens where you have dye lots where it'll be different, but this is not that. This is not that. And I do know that. I'm very aware that you could have, like, if you go feel all the yarns in, like, you know, Big Twist Value or Red Heart Super Saver or whatever, some of them are going to feel softer than others, depending on the dye lot and how the, the, the fibers react to the dye. This was not that. This was two totally different yarns. And I think somebody had mentioned, um, somebody had mentioned that maybe somebody like put a different label on it. I don't think that was it because it was, it, there were several bins where the ones in the back were softer, the ones in the front where they had, and they just restocked my whole Joann. So I have like uber amounts of yarn now where they didn't have it before, which is so lovely. I hope that they stay on top of that. Um, but anyways, it, so be we, like, I'm a little leery, not going to lie. Uh, this is when you're ordering stuff online, because I'll tell you, will it crank? This does good. Then you go and get it and it might feel different. So if that happens to you, like where I say, this is great yarn, this is lovely yarn, this is the softest yarn ever. And then you go to the store and you're like, Sherry, this is shit. 
<laughs> um, let me know that. Tell me, because I do think sometimes they change things and they don't tell us that they're changing stuff. They just keep the same label, keep the same brand, but the yarn isn't the same. Um, so anyway, that's, I just wanted to share that. So be like mindful of that because sometimes that can happen because it obviously, like when I was in Joanne's, that was obviously two totally different feeling yarns and the same, same brand. So anyway, so I wanted to share that. So that's something to consider anyways, when you're buying yarn. And it is the thing I will tell you that, that makes me wary of ordering online a lot of times. Um, but I like to order and then try stuff out. And, and I think <laughs> in my yarn addiction, this is what I'm telling myself in my head. I, I want to do this for them. I want you guys to know if it'll work or not. But really, I just want to find out for myself because I want to know. But I, I say it's for you and we'll do a video. And then that's like my excuse. Yeah. So yes. Um, all right. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you know, it's so funny, JVs. It's funny because I, I get these. Well, if you look in the comments, some of them are really nasty, but people will be like, who is that behind you? Like, who is that weirdo dude that just popped up? Yeah, that's my husband. Debbie, it's coming. I know I keep saying that, but it's coming. The raccoon is coming. It is coming eventually. I know. I know everybody's waiting for the raccoon. Yes. So Sandy, it does happen to you in the back end sometimes where it freezes. Yeah, I don't know why, but I don't know. We might still have issues with this new platform. I will tell you, we could, if I wanted to spend the big dollars, we could have our own app because they've been taught. They're trying to get me. They're like, Will you please check this out? Circle is because you I can do a, a like an unlabeled app that would just be our own like our own app, but I'm not doing that not yet. Um, and I will tell you there is there is a cost for me to have this, which some people might think that that's a little crazy, but I have ideas for that, guys. I want it to be a free community. I will eventually. I have a plan. Um, I've had a lot of people ask me about like one-on-ones and then I I did that for a little bit. I did a few of them, um, but I think I'm going to do like an intro probably. I don't, I'll build it out. And then maybe in the fall when people are getting their machines, but like a beginner's live class or something, most of you now won't need it because you'll have, and, and I'm still going to have all the stuff free, like all the information. But for those that want a little extra hands-on, I might do stuff like that. One-off courses or things like that. I've thought about us having like an event in there or maybe bringing in if other people would like to do, like other makers would like to do some different course type of stuff that may cost money. But for the community itself, it is absolutely free. So, and I'm hoping maybe we could get some sponsors to support it. So that's my thoughts to keep it free um, for as long as we possibly can. And I think that it will be as long as you guys keep watching the videos. So you have to keep watching videos because that's, what's going to pay for it for now. So then maybe we can get some sponsors down the road. Like maybe lion brand might like to sponsor our group. Maybe that would be nice. So we'll see. We'll see. We'll see talking into their marketing people. Maybe we could work that out. Um, uh, the, the, the Amber is the site, the one with all of the fall creations. Amber is your site. Oh, she's asking Amber the JVs. Um, let's see. Wendy says, I've already signed up for both the Zooms. Awesome. Awesome. Nikita, thank you for sharing the Zoom group thing. You know what, guys? I'm going to go all the way down. I'm going to scroll all the way down and see, um, see if there's any. I'm going to just scroll and see if I see anything. Oh, there's Barb. Hi, Barb. How are you? I see you. I see you, Barb. Okay, there we go. Um, let's see. JVs asked, have you tried Karen Colorama Halo either on an Addy or the machine? It does. Yes. Actually, this is the Halo yarn. Um, it does very good. I should have given this to my daughter, but I didn't. This was just a sample that I did, like a little baby hat that I did. Um, this was on the 40, the loops and threads. See, I did pom-poms on that. Um, but this was the, the, um, the, the, I think it was called the, actually it was the, Ogo, which they don't have anymore, but they have the cakes, the Colorama, the Halo cakes, I think, um, that, that has that, or the latte cakes. That's the same kind of feeling that that is. And it did really well on the loops and threads machine. Um, so I know that it would do fine on the Addy 46 and the 48. I'm sure of it. 
it may be a little bit of a pain in the butt if you have to frog it maybe, but um, it's super soft, super nice yarn. I love it. And it doesn't give me a, it, it like, even though it has the fuzz, it doesn't have the, um, the dog hair effect. <laughs> I will tell you guys, has anybody tried when I was at the store, I thought about when I was at Joanne's, I thought about getting the big twist carousel to try it. But then I didn't like the fleck. I had so much problems with the big twist fleck that I thought I'm not even going to try the carousel. It's beautiful yarn. I think it'd be great to crochet with it or knit with it, but I'm not super like, I think it might be problematic. Um, the way it felt, I should probably try it though. I don't know if anybody, I think I saw where maybe one other person in another group tried it, but I didn't actually read like what their experience was. So I'm not sure if any of you guys have, but the carousel is, it's very pretty. Big Twist has lots of stuff that came out. Um, I did you see if anybody's been in there, they have these little, the mini uh, Big Twist values. They're so sinking cute. And I'm like, why would I need those? But I want to buy them just because they're small. And I just want to set them out and look at them because I'm sick and I love yarn. I don't know. I don't understand. Um, oh, I have, to tell, I have a question for all of you guys. For all of you seasoned yarnies, right? People that have been crocheting, knitting, whatever. Had yarn for a long time. Because I'm still fairly a new... Can I call myself a yarny? I don't know. That's that's a little weird. But um, that I was watching oh, Mikey from the Crochet Crowd. I just hopped into a live on YouTube. I don't usually watch a lot of lives, but I was doing something and it popped up because I follow. And he was do, redoing one of his yarn walls. And there was a whole discussion about not putting acrylic yarn in plastic bags. Not putting acrylic yarn in plastic bags. And I didn't, like somebody said it would mold. And I'm like, well, it would only mold if you get moisture in the bag, right? If it's sealed. But then he even said, um, make sure that it's open so that it gets air to it. So I don't, like I, he and moisture would be the only, like, wouldn't that be the only problem? I don't understand it. I don't understand why it would, because I want to put all, like in my cabinet there, I want to store, like roll out my cakes and store them in there in like plastic storage. And I don't know why that'd be a problem. I could put silica gel in there, like little packets. But anyways, I asked on the live, but nobody answered me because I'm like, it would only mold if it got wet, I think. So I'm not sure. I was confused. And I know everybody has different ideas. Like, you know, I don't use waste yarn when I make a hat. Other people use waste yarn and they probably swear by it. And I say, don't do it. That's stupid. But not that you're stupid if you do it. I'm not saying that at all. I just think it's a waste of time and unnecessary. So maybe somebody else is really like, I would never put plastic. I would never put plastic around my plastic. I don't understand that. <laughs> Yarn is sewer. I like that. Plastic is easy with con. I think plastic is easy with condensation. <sighs> well, it would only be if it gets moisture in there. I hear bagging acrylic would be fine in bags and the natural fibers need to breathe, which I understand. Natural fibers have to breathe. Yes. That's, that's what I think. That would make a lot of sense like that. They could, yeah, they deteriorate probably if there's not a lot of air. Um, but I don't know. I was a little confused and maybe there's something with it and I just don't understand. I don't understand. Um, Oh, Naomi says, I understand yarn sickness. I have fabric sickness. I got to stay out of the fabric section. I, that's not a whole nother story. Somebody mentioned that the Viking, the, is it called Viking? The little sewing store within Joanne's, it is closing. And they have like Husqvarna machines. Like my daughter's machine, it's in the closet. Normally it's on the sewing table here, but I kind of like took it over. Um, and it's an emerald. So it's a really, it's a pretty nice machine. We bought it for her when she was 12. She's had it since then. And it's like lovely. And I've used it lots of times, but they have their machines 50% off. And they had like, it's the low grade one. I don't, I don't remember what kind it was, but it has all the stitching on the front, but it was like only $149 new. And I'm like, oh my gosh, because she's eventually going to take her machine and then I won't have a sewing machine. So long story short here, I was looking at sewing machines. I really know nothing about them. I kind of know how to use them. But Naomi, if I get started down that road, that's not going to be good because yeah, fabric. Oh my gosh. You have like, as long as Joanne's is still around, um, even at Hobby Lobby, they have more fabric selection than yarn selection by far. So I get it because it's lovely. And I just love looking at the fabric and I don't know like how to make anything. I'm sure I could figure it out, but I don't have enough time for that. So I'm going to keep my eyes on the crank knitting road for now. 
even though I've had flitters of, I need to embroider something. I haven't done hand embroidery in a long time, which takes forever. So to start a hand embroidery project right now, Sherry would be stupid when you have so many things to do. Anyways, I'm talking to myself, not to you. Um, so let's see, let somebody else say something here. Um, uh, 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 uh. More to love jewelry. Sherry, I'm brand new. Love watching you. I have a Z machine. Awesome. I love my Z machine. 32 and the Central 48. I finally figured out how to load the machine, crank it, made a sample because now I have to buy yarn. That's the funnest part. More to love. I'm glad you're here. Thank you for coming and seeing and staying. And yeah, we're here if you have any questions. Make sure to get in the Crank Knit community since you're on Facebook. If you're not already in there. And eventually we'll get you, get you transferred over to the new circle luscious community. I'll be happy to have you. Um, Megan says, I'll be back in Kentucky on the 26th of the month. I hate feeling homesick with the head cold. Oh, that's, that's tough. Megan, we'll be thinking of you for sure. We will be thinking of you. All right. Uh, buying those minis and putting cute little display backdrop. Yeah. Aren't they just the cutest? They're so cute. They're so cute. Like somebody should just dip them in like, what's it like where you make what's that called? Like where you dip the plat, like the plastic. I can't think of what it's called. It would be fun to make a table. What's it called? Like where you pour the, like an acrylic pour. No, it's not acrylic. My brain does not work, but like you put all those little things in a table and you pour the stuff over it and it'd be like all shiny and lacquered. And I don't know what that's called because I can't think because my brain is 50 years old and I drank too much alcohol at some point in my life. <laughs> probably. Yes. That's probably it. I, what's it called? Did somebody, somebody will tell me and then we'll get there. Anyways, I think that would be cute. Like to make a table with the stuff like you pour. I don't know if it would work. It might melt the yarn, but I just think they're adorable. Um, mm -mm. I use carrier bags for yarn and have no problem. Tina, I think that's what I'm thinking. I'll get in there. I want to get little square see-through bags so I can see. I live in a very dry climate. I don't think I would have to. No. Yeah. But yeah. We have lots of moisture. Like there's a certain point here in the camper where I'll have to put, I'll probably have to bring the dehumidifier out here because I don't want things to get mildewy because they will, because there's not a lot of ventilation. I do have an AC unit. I can open the window, but uh, I have acrylic yarn and clothes Ziploc bag on the bookshelf for years now. It's still perfect shape. Yeah. See, okay. Ro Roseanne, thank you. Um, cause I think, I don't think it would, maybe they mean it's not sealed plastic you think or airtight. Humidity could be a problem. I would, but they said, leave it open. So I was confused. Lisa Whaley. I don't know. I was confused. I've yarn and rubber toes for years. All still. Okay. Libby, Libby. Thank you guys for chiming in. Cause see, I think that it's fine. Um, yeah. JB says they, she uses sweater clothing storage bags. Yes. That's what I think I might get. Um, very easy to fall into the world, Sherry. Yeah. Uh, the discord is full of <laughs> Sandy. You're so funny. I love it. <laughs> Naomi, you could, if I get a sewing, I'm thinking about going back and getting a sewing machine guys. Would that be crazy? Cause the other reason that I've thought about it is well, one Allison, my daughter, I know she's going to take hers eventually. And, and then I'll be without one, but see hers is fancy. Like you have the reverse and like you can do, it can like, it's really easy. It has the, like the, um, variable pedal too, which is super, super nice. And the needle always comes back up so you don't break it off. Um, but I was thinking like when I make, I, when I crochet, um, granny squares, I want to make more bags and I want to sew the liners in because we used hers to do that. Yeah. I don't know. Whatever. I couldn't get into embroidery. However you spell it hard might give another go. I hand embroidery is how I survived my taking care of my dying mom. It was the thing that got me through it guys for sure. Like I hands down aside from God himself. Um, cause I was like, pfft, it was awful. And that's how the name came about hoop and home. I, I should show you guys, like, I'll have to show you guys. I'll do a little show and tell, um, of my hand embroidery. Like some of the, like where I did a bit like buildings. I did my daughter's house. Um, I did a little store that's like down by us. And, um, like just from a picture, it's really, I, I really enjoy it, but it's just, a, it's time consuming. And it's interesting because I've like, it like helped me heal. And now I'm on to my new stuff. If that makes sense. It was like my journey. 
So, but it's lovely. I love it. Hello, Paula Strickland. Okay, you know what, guys? We're getting later here. I probably should do the giveaway. Um, Tammy says, as long as your yarn isn't exposed to the sunlight, I don't think you would need to bag it. But heat does rise, so it could cause the bag to get moisture. Oh. Hmm. Well, could we, could I put little, cause it, it, it will like, I'll, I'll have the AC on in here, but it does get a little warm in here in the, in the summer. So that's a little concern. But if I put like little silica bag gel thing to absorb the moisture, I think that would probably be, that would be good. Right. What I should do is use all my yarn up guys. Right. That's what I should do. I have a brand new sewing machine that I have not used. You just don't see, but I feel like it's almost like one of those things like a sewing machine is kind of like life insurance. You you need it. You have it there in case you need it, right? <laughs> That's kind of the way I feel. Like every woman should have a sewing machine. And man, everybody. Let's let's not be gender specific here. Anybody and everybody. Like if you're on your own. That's like a tool that you should have, right? That's the way I feel. I know that that's not the case. And most people don't have a sewing machine. But I feel like it's one of those things that you should have in case you need it. Yes, I don't know. Like life insurance. Because you should have that, guys. You know, even though it seems like a waste of money. Yeah. Because you get old and you die. And you, if you have family, then, you know, they got to pay for, it, like, being dead. Because it's expensive when you die. Even if you're going to like burn yourself up and I, this is kind of morbid, but it's absolutely true. Cause I had to deal that with, deal with that with my mom and it was, and if you have life insurance, yeah, it's a whole long story. It isn't easily accessible. So yeah, it's yeah. Get, get something, make sure you got that all taken care of. I don't even have my stuff all taken care of, but I do have like, well, actually do I, I used to, my husband does <laughs> well. Okay. Oh, um, epoxy. That's not it either. What's it called? It's not epoxy. Is it resin? It's resin. That's what it is. Resin it epoxy. Lori, you're right. It's resin. Like a resin pour, like the clear stuff, shiny stuff. You are correct. I didn't think of epoxy, but I think that's what it's called. So machines have been in my closet for over a year. Yeah. Resin, resin, resin. Yes. You guys are awesome. Yep. That's exactly it. I get down to the things. Yep. That's how far behind I am. I bought the big twist petites for, oh, that's what they're called. Some of the peeps for Easter. There are some colors I like, but didn't want to do big skeins. I did think about that, Karen. Like for if you want to do stripe hats, some of those colors are so pretty and wild. And I've gotten to where I wasn't the pink girl. I think I'm now the pink girl. Like I'm starting to like more pinks, which is kind of weird, but I'm allowed because now I'm a grandma and I can be strange and that's okay. Not that liking pink is strange, but for me, that's a strange thing because I never was like into it, but now I love it. So anyways, as I was looking at those little petites you could buy just those. I don't know how many cranks you could get out of one of them, but, um, it'd be fun to do, like get a whole bunch of them. Maybe I'll do that and make a hat out of a whole bunch of them. Cause then you don't have to have the big skeins. I don't remember how much they were though, Karen, are they expensive? Like per, per yard? Is it kind of expensive? Cause it seems like it would be. Yes. Aaron, thank you. You're kind of freaking me out. I have a ton of yarn plastic storage totes right now. Don't be freaked out, Aaron. I think we decided that it's all good. I think that we're all good. I just thought I kind of freaked out because I'm like, this is how I want to store my stuff. And I do have my regular skeins. I do have like three containers underneath my bed in the house. Um, actually I have four. And then I have one in the closet that has some in it. And, and those are getting low. I've been really, I've been a good girl. I have lots of yarn around here. When we do this giveaway, if we get a winner in the U.S., I'm going to give you some more ice yarn, whoever it is. I'll put a big package together. If you are um, someplace else, like not in the United States, I will just do the little stuff here, like Molly's little starter set and then um, Shauna's like buttons because these are awesome. Um, and I'll do one of the Fair Isle tools, which I still have not used, guys. I need to do that. That's on my list of things. <sighs> Oh, you guys. Okay. We're talking about the sewing machine and he is an enabler. This is, this is Mr. Bant. This is my husband over there. And he says I should get one. I need to call them. They might all be sold out, Darren. I probably shouldn't do that though. Cause Eddie wants the 3d printer and Rachel wants a cricket and mommy shouldn't get a sewing machine before that. Yeah. See, he's awesome. Isn't he the most awesome husband ever? He's like, go get it. Go buy yourself a sewing machine. I love you. You're awesome. He's awesome. He's like the best guy. You know, 
like at night, guys. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about him. He bakes cookies, which he hasn't baked cookies for me for a long time. But I heard him telling our son Edison, Edison's like, where are my cookies? Where are the cookies, Daddy? Because he usually bakes these like whole food plant based cookies for me. They, so they don't have any oil in them. They do have chocolate chips, so that might have a little oil in it. Um, but super delicious. He also does dishes. It's so good because we don't have a dishwasher. We have my husband. I do like first round. Go now today, Sherry. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh, they had sergers too and embroidery machines. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. You guys are awesome. Oh my gosh. Sandy, you're not helping. I need to save money. <laughs> Mr. Bant agrees. Yeah. Mm. All right. Plastic drawers. Cheryl Wilkins has hers in plastic drawers. What time is it, guys? Okay, we still have time. I, I, I should be done by round one. My neighbors are making noise over there. Are they're, They don't live there year round, but they're back from vacation. So, or they're, like, they're here for vacation because this is their second home. Some people can afford two homes. Not me. I can't afford two. I can get the camper and that. That's all. That's all we can afford. We can barely afford that, right? Especially if I'm buying all this yarn and um, like sewing machines and things, right? <laughs> no second homes for us. Oh boy. Okay. Let's see. I'm embroidering cushion covers, Tina. That sounds cool. Carol Boosie. Is it Boosie? Bouch Boucher. Boucher. That's how. Not Boosie. Heck, Boucher. I think I said your name once before because it sounds so cool. Everybody's saying hi to Mr. B. Uh, Megan says, when I'm back to Kentucky, I have to buy more yarn because I ran out before I left. That'll be fun. That's something to look forward to, Megan. That No joke. That's like the best feeling going and buying yarn. I don't know why. Tina says, I gave two sewing machines, um, um, a midi from Hobbycraft and a full size. How do you say that? How do you, how do you say that? Is it, it isn't genome, right? Okay. You guys are going to think I'm silly because I can't pronounce it. Tell me how, how to pronounce that because I don't know how. Um, I made resin art for a while. Nikita, did you, was it like smelly? Because I think it would be smelly. But wouldn't it be cute? Would it melt? Like, is it, it isn't a high temperature, right? Think about what I'm saying here, guys. You make like a clear, you'd have to do it out of acrylic though, probably. You put the yarns in it and you make a table with those little yarn petites in there. It would be just the cutest thing, I think. Or, you know what we could do? Mr. Bant, like I don't know resin, but we can make an art piece. Hold on. <laughs> you guys. Okay. Okay. Look, these are all my scraps. This is my scrap drawer. <laughs> we could do an art, like a, like a yarn table with all of my scraps. This is all, there is one, like a leg in there that needs to come apart, but that's a lot. I'm proud of this though. Because this this is, means that these are things that I made. That's like a lot of things. So anyways, I don't know. I I got to try to put this in there. Um, Expensive hobby. They all are. Ours isn't. Th well, that's not true because yarn gets expensive. Yes. Everything's expensive. Why does everything have to be so damn expensive? <laughs> it is though. When you start the new Facebook page, what is happening with the crank? Oh, Paula, I'm not starting a new Facebook page. I'm starting a new group. It's called Crank Knit Network. It's just a community on Circle. So it's like another group. Um, I'm going to leave the Facebook group up. But my hope is I don't think I'm going to shut it off because I don't want to lose like what we have there. But I'm not going to be like promoting it, if that makes sense. So um, we will leave it. Uh, but I don't like, I probably won't post my stuff in there. I'll be posting it over in the circle community, if that makes sense. And, but you guys will all be welcome to like still post in there and stuff. Um, and we'll, I'll try to keep it clean as much as I can, but I'm going to want like the moderators to focus more on the other group. Um, but, but it's still going to be there for you guys. And I can't get my drawer back in now. See, I do this. There we go. There we go. Get in there. All right. Okay. All right, let's see. Uh, More to Love says, I'm all for getting a sewing machine, but it needs to have some bells because those things are mentioned on your daughter's machine. Make it easier to use. Don't waste the money on the... Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. Uh, got mine, the Amazon spent 320 and it has all the features you mentioned. It's heavy duty and all the sewing. I'd 
Yes. Cause I do know that those things are important. If you don't have it, cause it does make a difference. I wouldn't want, you know, it's kind of like, it's kind of like, even though we use the, the, like the, the centros and the Addies and comparing the two, um, the centros are, you know, not as nicely made. So sometimes they can be more, a little bit more problematic. And when it comes to sewing, if you're working on a big, yeah, I understand having the good, the good bells and whistles. Good to good point. Good point. Uh, Wendy says, I'm not allowed to bring yarn into the house. It has to stay in the craft cottage. I understand that. Um, let's see. Uh, JB says, um, oh, uh, is it, is it Murray? 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 Uh, JB says, I just went to Joanne's and got more yarn. I had no clue what I was going to do, but just had to get some for some reason. Isn't that funny? It's like, it's, um, yeah, it, I want to say it's an illness, but well, this is the thing too. I will be, this is true too. Listen to me here, all of you that, um, when I used to be, when I, when I went to college long ago, when I used to be a young person and I, I went to art school actually for a short time, uh, commercial for a commercial art degree and I had to paint, right. I had to paint, uh, for a class and I couldn't figure out what I wanted to do. And I had ideas, but sometimes you just have to immerse yourself in like the stuff that you use. Like I would go check out all the paints because I'm like, Oh, colors, thinking about color. And sometimes it's hard to think about color. And it's that way with yarn too. The yarn sometimes like will inspire you to make something. So sometimes putting yourself out there in the thing that you're using, the medium that you're using will help inspire you to figure out what you want to, what you want to make. Cause you see the color and you, or the texture or, you know, like if it's stripes or if it's, you know, heathered or whatever, and you think about like the project. Now, obviously, you know, you have to have a project in mind, but not always. Sometimes you think, oh, I know I want to use this. I'm not sure what I want to use this for, but it, it is the thing that sets the inspiration, gets you going. So if you get into a funk, just go yarn shopping because <laughs> you'll figure out what you want to do. That doesn't mean you'll do it, but you'll at least think about it and you'll buy the yarn and you'll put it in your plastic toe under your bed and you might not touch it for six months, but eventually, eventually, <laughs> Elise says, treat yourself to one. And Nikita, I need some cookies. I want some cookies too. Yes. Mr. Man, make some cookies. All right, guys, I should probably, mm. Kim says she's putting your sewing machine up for sale. She doesn't want it collecting any more dust. Is that right? Uh, we still use our camper to go places with, I wish I could be like yours and get one one day. Yeah. For, but I'll tell you, I almost, I almost already need more. Can you guys see all my crap? Like I'm running out of space guys. I suppose I need to just scale it back a little bit. Mm. Hello from France. Hello. How are you? How are you doing from France? I'm not sure how to say your name. Uh, second home. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we can't for a second home. Um, Tammy says, I don't know how to say the memory craft 6500 is the one I have, and it's such an amazing machine. How do you say it? Is it genome? It's not, is it? Genomi? Genomi. Genomi? Is that how you say it, Sandy? Like genomi. Spot on. Okay. Margulie, everyone needs a sewing machine. You even said it yourself. I have one like 46 years old and have been dropped several times and it just doesn't work right. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think everyone does. Like everybody. Two embroidery machines is good one too. Flourish too. See, like I think about, mm, I think about embroidery. But yeah, I don't need it because I don't have room, right? Because the thing is, it's like stuff so like, the price, but I don't know if I was like to shop around, but still like their prices right now are like incredible because they're closing. So it's hard. That's so tempting. It's so tempting. It's so tempting. Wendy says abstract yarn art. Yeah. With all my pieces. Okay. Let's do the giveaway. Cause we're like right at one o'clock right now. So I'm going to scroll down. I'm sorry if uh, another channel makes scrap cakes and does giveaways with them. Cheryl, is it, is it yarn though? Is it yarn? Juan the yarn addict? Cause I saw he had like sushi cakes. Is that who you're talking about? Cause I watch him. Like I've not looked or wa like watched any of his tutorials. It's kind of like bag a day. Um, I watch her, but I've never watched one of her tutorials. Same with Juan. I've never watched one of his tutorials, but I watch him cause Crystal 
from Baggy Day like recommended him. And then there was like controversy the other day. I saw that, but I didn't see what happened. So I want to know. I want to know the deets on the YouTube controversy with the crochet community because apparently something went sideways with Juan and like Mikey from the cro crochet crowd. He posted something on Facebook and it was like blah, 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 blah. And I wanted to find out what Juan said because I think it was Juan. I don't know. I don't know what that was all about, but it got a little heated, I think. I don't know. Anyways, it's like all the crazy, crazy on the YouTubes. I don't know. I'd just stay out of that fray. I don't need to be in it. Okay, let's do this. Let's do this. Yes, Juan. Yes, yes. Juan and other few are who. Yeah, I like Juan. I, yeah, I like Juan. He's sweet. He's a sweet guy. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's do the giveaway, guys. Let me pull up. Let me see. Let me put this up here. Let me see. Okay. All right. Let's do, let's do hashtag goodies. Hashtag goodies. So hashtag and then goodies, and then we'll do the giveaway. Hashtag goodies. I don't think there's anything else that I was supposed to talk about. Hopefully I didn't miss any questions on any of the places. So put hashtag and then the word goodies, like smoosh it all together, and then we'll do a giveaway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like that. Just like Barb, just like Megan, just like the Bridgerton lady. <laughs> Christina, thank you. Tina, yes, you guys are awesome. Okay, let me get it. So I'll do hashtag goodies, but I won't click it yet. And then we'll wait. We'll wait until we get everybody in there. Um, and then we'll do the drawing. And like I said, if you're in the seats, and I will tell you, um, who was the person who won? What was her name? She's from the UK. She might be on here. I don't remember. Who was it? I just sent her package out yesterday. I wanted to get it out before, but I just sent it out yesterday. So hopefully she will get that. It'll take a little while. And I don't remember her name because I'm really, really bad with names and remembering. So wherever you're at, though, I will send it to you. I promise. Um, but if you are in the States, I will send you yarn, too, because it's easier for me. Can't wait to see is my second gift from you, Tina. Oh, yes, Tina, it is, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Um, da -da 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 -da. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, it was Tina. Tina Fletcher. It was. It was you. I thought you won. Did you You won before, right? Did you win before? Can't wait to see my second gift from you. Yeah, I think you did. Did you mean me? I did mean you. Yes, it was you. And you can go ahead and put hashtag goodies too, because you can, you can win a second time. I have no rules here. Whoever wins, wins. That's the way it goes. Okay. All right. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and click it here. If it'll work, make sure you put hashtag goodies wherever you are. Anybody can win. Any of you, any of you, any of you, any, anyone. Okay. We're going to start collecting. I won't draw it yet though. I think it'll go like, even if you, uh, 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 oh, okay. Yes. All right. Yes. I know why, because I sent that direct from ice. So that was easier. Yeah. Yes. Oh yeah. Tammy, make sure you put goodies, not hoodies. There you go. Okay. I should give away some merch though. I think we might do that in the new community once we get it up and going out, order some. Um, the only thing is like sizes, you know, like I don't know what sizes to give away. Cause if I buy pre buy stuff, I might get stickers and things and um, give some of that stuff away. I, that's what I should do. Give some of the merch away. I had, I need to work on some new merch too. Okay. All right, guys, I'm going to click the button now. We will see who the winter, the winter, the winter, because I can't talk. And remember, remember, you guys have to check out Golden Arm Creations, Molly's website. Get yourself like one of the starter kits. And, you know, I'll show that in a minute before we go. But OK, so here we go. I'm going to draw it. Yeah. Thank you for sharing that Golden Arm Creations. And then also um, Southpaw Fiber Arts. OK, here we go. Here we go. You ready? You ready? You ready? You ready? You ready? You ready? Uh, OK, here we go. There we go. Who's going to win? Who's going to win? Who's going to win? This thing is so cool. Who's going to win? Who's going to win? We shall see. Kathy Williams is the winner. Kathy Williams. Kathy, did you win something before? I don't remember because I can't remember anything. My brain's not working today. So just make sure you email me at sherry at hoopandhome.com. Your, your address, your shipping address, and I will get you your package sent out ASAP, I promise. So congrats, Kathy. You're awesome. Thank you for being here. Okay, so let me just give you one more shout out here. So yeah, 
you guys. So if you came in late, I showed um, Golden Arm Creations, Molly, Miss Molly. I should probably call her Mrs. Molly, but that sounds like old lady. So we're not going to call her Mrs. Molly. We're going to call her Miss Molly. She does these little starter sets now, and she has the tags available, custom tags. And you can just order, like, one. So you don't have to order, like, a lot of them. So if you have a project you're working on. But these starter sets are so stinking cool, so cute. So, yeah, make sure to check her out. Golden Arm Creations. Okay. And go get your uh, attention guide from Southpaw Fiber Arts, too. And she has other stuff, too, guys. You can get attention guide. Like, I have the one for my... For my Z machine that I use. So the, the Centro. And if he figures out. If that Mr. Man of yours, Shauna. Can figure out how to make the fancy fancy one. For the Centro. Who buddy. I'm on board. Even if it costs $50. No joke. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. Because I love that other one so much. Um, so yeah. Okay guys. So that's it for me. I think we're going to have to call it a wrap. So um, again, make sure if you're not in the Zoom group, we will be doing the Zoom on Sunday. Um, if you want to get your name on that email list, just go to hoop and home forward slash Zoom group. Sandy, you are, you are smoking. You are so good at this. I'm right there at the bottom and sign up and I will send out more. Um, I usually I'll do like, if you sign up now, I'll do, I'll, you know, I'll automatically send one out to who hasn't like gotten them and then I'll do it again. But I will tell you, if you wait until the last minute, like right at seven or seven, what am I saying? 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Like, like if you do it at like probably 2.45 or later, I won't be able to send you the link. So um, that's where the group is nice because the link will be automatically in the group and you won't have to like do something special to get the links and all the things. So um, yeah, so it'll be nice. And he, oh, he's working on it. Shauna, that is awesome. I am excited. I am so excited for you guys because it is, he has like, that's some talent to figure that out. I love it. I love it. So I'm excited to see if he can come up with one. It'll, oh, ooh, ooh, I'm excited. Yeah, that'll be exciting. All right, guys. So we will see you. I will be back live again on uh, Monday for Cranking for Community right here, 12 o'clock Eastern Standard Time again. Thank you all for being here. Thank you for hanging out with me and chit chatting and all the things. I love it so much. I love you guys. And also I, one other thing that I will be working on this other, this afternoon is keep your eyes open for the GoFundMe. I'm going to be setting one up for Christine over in Kenya. They're the ones that I sent the machines to and they're making some clothes and things already for the kids. So, um, I want to help them out as much as we can. So if you're able to uh, donate to that cause, like to help feed the, cause the, she's helping, um, a big group of these toddlers of the teen moms, cause all of them are on HIV meds and they have to eat every day. And sometimes the only meal they get is what she feeds them. So, um, so I've been kind of helping behind the scenes, but I can't continue to, to like financially do that. So I'm setting up this GoFundMe and hopefully if you guys have some extra pennies lying around, we can do that. So anyways, stay tuned for that. Anyways, you all have a great day. Thank you for being here. And remember, remember, guys, stay cranky. We'll see you later. Bye now. Bye. Bye. Bye.